I want it to be partially blind. I want it to be love is blurry. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dating show controversies and scandals. And we feel that you need to leave tonight. For this list, we'll be looking at the most shocking on and off screen moments from reality dating TV series. If we missed any of your favorite jaw dropping scandals, let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Restraining Order and Stalking The Bachelor Every single season of The Bachelor is billed to us as the most dramatic yet. I don't care if you're about to leave. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop fighting for you. But in the case of Colton Underwood, that was kind of true. He just jumped the fence. Colton's famous fence jump moment more than lived up to its over-promoted hype, and his decision to just date winner Cassie Randolph in Leia of Proposing was genuinely shocking. But what came after stunned fans even more? Grocery Do store. normal things? Yeah, grocery yeah. store. Go for bike dinner. rides, walks on the beach, mm -hmm. just, you know, your typical typical romantic, yeah. new relationship kind of stuff. Yes. Cassie and Colton broke up a little over a year after they began dating. In the fall of 2020, she won a temporary restraining order against him. Cassie alleges that Colton put a tracking device under her vehicle, sent her threatening texts, and stalked her. This is incredibly frightening behavior, and we wish all the best to Cassie leaving this behind. Number 9. Rigging a Season? Are you the one? It's no secret that producer manipulation plays a massive role in many of our favorite reality television shows. Come on, we've all watched Unreal. We know the drill. Just get your woof woof to lose it to the big guy. Yeah, but she hasn't even admitted that she's a virgin yet, so. Well, then get her to. But Are You The One may have gone too far. The show follows numerous singletons who have been paired up through an algorithm and have to figure out who their perfect match is. Shannon picking Tyler definitely was against the strategy and she almost cost us the game. Like there's no telling what's gonna happen now that she didn't stick with the strategy. The season five cast was the first group to not win the game and take home prize money, something cast member Gianna Hammer says was purposeful. Hammer claims that producers pressured some singles into changing their picks for matches, causing them to lose. I definitely see why this guy's a perfect match and our relationship is growing on so many levels. Hammer has made numerous other alarming allegations about the show, including of assault, casting a real shadow over this franchise. Number eight, Rosalind Papa. The Bachelor. Rosalind Papa came onto the Bachelor scene like any other contestant. This is my opportunity to make an impression on Jake, and I'm gonna have to do that maybe by any means possible. She was beautiful, fun, and seemed poised to make a pretty long play for Jake Pavelka's heart. But in week two, all of that changed. Rosalind, you entered into an inappropriate relationship with one of our, with one of our staffers. In the middle of a cocktail party, then-host Chris Harrison kicked Rosalind out, accusing her of having a, quote, inappropriate relationship with a producer. We feel, because of what's happened, it's impossible for you to continue on this show. To this day, Rosalind says the so-called relationship never happened, and that the entire fiasco was manufactured for entertainment's sake. Turned the corner, and I saw, at first I didn't know it was you, and then I saw a closer up. And I saw you guys kissing on the stairs. You are so... I, like... It definitely has gone down as one of the craziest moments in Bachelor history. But if Rosalind's telling the truth, that's a pretty messed up way to create good TV. Number seven, Shake hits on Vanessa. Love is blind. Throughout season two of Love is Blind, fans were disappointed in how the relationship between Shake and Deep Tea played out. Honestly, like you're everything that I would want. Once the couple was out of the pods, Shake proved himself to be anything but husband material. We want options. When you have so many options, it becomes more and more difficult to choose and commit to one. That's the thing I worry about with you. Luckily, Deep Tea ended up refusing to marry Shake at the end of the season, but we still hadn't heard the last from him. I'm choosing myself, and I'm gonna say no. At the Love is Blind reunion, Shake continued to double down on his rude ideas about love and how he wasn't attracted to Deep Tea. But he also, for some unknown reason, thought it would be a good idea to hit on Vanessa Lachey, one of the hosts of the show. Listen, every woman here is beautiful. I think you're all beautiful. I'm not attracted to all of you. Unfortunately, the only one I'm attracted to is Vanessa. And it, oh you know. Gosh. Obviously, this choice immediately went south. We hope we never see Shake on TV again. It's nature, baby. We're animals. 
We're animals. No, you treat animals. We're human beings. Number six, Larissa's arrests. 90 Day Fiance. The entire premise of 90 Day Fiance is odd, so it's no surprise that the show has produced some of the strangest personalities and controversies in recent reality show memory. But it's hard to get more volatile than Larissa and Colt. Larissa! Why does my flowers? <laughs> Why does my flowers? The two met on the sixth season of the show, and immediately, it was clear to fans that the relationship was not going to work. A lot of viewers thought Colt had a toxic personality, and Larissa constantly clashed with his family, including his mother, whom he lived with. Nobody will make me believe that she, just because she's Colt's mother, she's alone to make my life a hell like she does. How is your life hell? You have a man paying for you. Throughout their relationship, Larissa was arrested three times for domestic violence. The two appear to have moved on from this time in their lives now, which is probably best for everyone involved. Number five, Chris Harrison and Rachel Lindsay, The Bachelor. This is the last conversation I thought we'd be having. I, did, I didn't sign up to have this conversation. The Bachelor franchise has always had issues with race. The show brought on Rachel Lindsay as its first black lead in 2017, much too late if you ask us, but it seems like things have just gotten worse since then. All that controversy came to a head in 2021, when old photos of frontrunner Rachel Kirk Connell at a racist Old South party surfaced during black lead Matt James's season, the show went into damage control mode. The most disappointing thing for me was having to explain to you why what I saw was problematic. Host Chris Harrison sat for an interview with Rachel Lindsay. Instead of trying to hold the show accountable, he ranted about cancel culture and wokeness. Is it a good look in 2018 or is it not a good look in 2021? It's because not a, a big good difference. look ever. Not a great look, and the rest of the world agreed. Harrison, a staple of the franchise, stepped down as host. Number four, Miss Great Britain No Longer, Love Island. You know when you're in the moment, like, and it just happens. The pageant world is a staple of so many of the reality dating shows that we know and love. It makes sense. A pool of beautiful young people? Let's get them on a television show. Zara Holland, a former Miss Great Britain, starred on the second series of Love Island, which actually ended up costing her her title. During her time at the villa, Zara was physically intimate with another contestant, Alex Bowen. <laughs> He's like, Zara. The decision wasn't that popular amongst her fellow islanders, but doesn't seem like that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. Miss JB, for the first day, are you sure? <laughs> Like, what a stupid girl. Oh, no, 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 no. Miss Great Britain, however, felt differently. The organization stripped Zara of her title in one of the most controversial moves in the show's history. I'm so hurt by the situation because I was the last person to find out that yeah. they decrowned me. Number three, Corinne and Demario, Bachelor in Paradise. Bachelor in Paradise is probably the most beloved of the Bachelor franchise shows, but the offshoot's fourth season was rocked by a controversy so big it almost ended production entirely. Entirely. What's going on with Corinne and Demario? I don't know. They look like they're enjoying each other's company. During shooting, someone reported alleged misconduct between contestants Corinne Olympios and Demario Jackson, who both received villain edits on their respective seasons. If I ask her to show me her phone, uh -huh. is it going to coincide with what she said or what you said? Depends on the dates. Like, it, it just depends on the day. No, it doesn't. I don't know. Corinne later said she couldn't really remember an intimate encounter with DeMario because she accidentally mixed alcohol and prescription medication. The two have since smoothed things over, and an internal investigation found that no misconduct occurred. But both contestants have spoken about how the experience horribly affected their lives in its aftermath. Number two, the treatment of Miriam Rivera. There's something about Miriam. This entry could also be called the entirety of what happened with There's Something About Miriam. This short-lived reality dating show followed six single men as they tried to win the heart of model Miriam Rivera. At the end of the show, Tom Rook ended up winning, but the show had one more twist. If you can even put what happens next into such glib terms. The series had Miriam reveal to Tom and the rest of the contestants that she was a transgender woman. I'm not a woman. I was born as a man. The men ended up suing the show, alleging sexual assault and personal injury, among other things. The entire setup wasn't fair to anyone involved and put forth really negative stereotypes and perceptions of the transgender community. 
Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Alleged mistreatment, Temptation Island, Morgan and Evan split because of the allegations, Claire blows up The Bachelorette. The Bachelorette. Claire didn't need an entire show to know she wanted Dale. Claire, will you marry me? <sighs> yes. Jason's domestic violence. 90 Day Fiance. Charges are dropped, but fallout remains. Lucy Donlin's microaggressions. Love Island. The truth comes out eventually. Lawsuit. Love is blind. Labor violations are thrown into question. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Dating Game Killer The Dating Game Get ready folks, this one's a doozy. If you're a true crime fan, you've probably heard of Rodney Alcala, the infamous dating game killer. And what do you look like? I'm called the banana, and I look really good. If you come to the dating game through reality TV and don't recognize this name, allow us to explain. Alcala was a serial killer who murdered multiple people, mostly women in the 1970s. Chris was very trusting, so... You know, that was her downfall. During that time period, he also appeared on an episode of The Dating Game. Can you imagine? Not only did Alcala go on the show, he actually won. Who gets the dates? Well, I like bananas, so I'll take one. Even though Alcala was officially dubbed the winner, the bachelorette in question, Cheryl Bradshaw, opted not to go out with him. Bradshaw called Alcala creepy. That's what we call good instincts. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.